Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar, Glance 2.7. We've got a, a lot of upgrades to the product. Um, everyone is muted so that we get quality audio for everyone. And in a couple seconds here, I'm going to hand over presentation to Joe Klaus, our Director of Support. She has over eight years of experience with us here at Glance. Uh, we say she's done over 400 training sessions, but I think we just kind of stopped counting after a while, so probably 100 or two over that even. Um, she also does a lot of uh, gathering of critical feedback for our product development, and so she's the perfect person to talk to us about Glance 2.7 today, some of the new stuff we've got going. With that, we've got the starting slide up, and uh, Joe, I'd like to introduce the audience to you and let you take the floor. Well, thank you, John, and thank you all for joining us today. This webinar will be the first in a series announcing our new features and new solutions moving forward. For those of us joining who are unfamiliar or new to Glance, we've been around for over a decade, and we have clients worldwide. With our global presence gaining momentum, we installed several international server locations, which include UK, China, and Brazil. In addition, we have two locations here in the States, Boston and Oakland. The majority of our clients today are using Glance as a sales or support tool. And we surveyed our clients to understand what additional tools they are using. Based upon the results, we developed an API which enables our clients to use Glance within Salesforce and LivePerson, as well as additional upcoming platforms. Over the next 10 minutes or so, I will be going over our new features within Glance 2.7 Windows. Mobile. Guests using mobile devices such as iPad, iPhone, and BlackBerry can now view sessions virtually. Any device with any browser can join a Glance session. So with that said, if any of you have mobile devices handy, please try it now. Simply enter webdemos.glance.net in the browser, and you will instantly join via your mobile device. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a few seconds and see if there's anybody out in the audience that wants to go ahead and give that a try. Great. I see if you have joined. So let's continue. In 2.7, there's a settings options dialog, which allows you to go and manipulate all of these features here. And I wanted to go ahead and show you first how to access that within Glance 2.7 Windows. Once you've installed it on your machine, if you simply click on your G icon in your tray by your clock and go to Settings, you're going to see that it opens you right up to the Options dialog page. So right now I'm just going to use the graphic here because it's a little bit larger for you folks to go ahead and see. The first section here says Have Guests Join. The new feature, what we're very excited about, is this instant option. So previously, when your guests join your sessions, depending upon the operating system and which type of browser they were using, they were either pushed in ActiveX Viewer or had to have Java enabled. Because of all the feedback from all of our customers, we decided to come up with a new option for our customers' guests, which means they just join via the web browser. There's no running anything. There's no making sure they have to have Java enabled. They just instantly get in. For those customers who need to, um, say, use remote control or show animations during the presentation, I recommend having them change their settings to use the high-performance plugin. Again, the majority of our customers today are just doing maybe sales presentations or quick support sessions, and instantly is, is the win there. Okay, I'm going to move down to the next section. Even though this is not new today in 2.7, I felt it was important to touch upon. It came out in 2.6, and I see that a lot of our customers are still not yet aware of this feature that we have. This just means here that you can collect the data of all your session guests. And a lot of our customers like this feature when they're hosting, say, webinars as I am today, or if they're doing training sessions with their team or uh, training sessions with their customers or just team building exercises where they need a roll call. You can change the default of these options, again, simply by going to your G icon, clicking on Settings. The Options tab is going to open up, and you're going to see that there's a drop-down next to each one of these fields. When you download Glance 2.7 in your machine, just so you know, the default is optional. Okay, so all three fields will be optional. When you folks join the webinar today, we did make the email fields required, and the rest of them were said, don't ask. So that's why you only saw that one field. Again, you can manipulate it any way that you want. Once you make those changes, please go ahead and select OK to make sure they do stick. Again, you can change it for any type of session that you host. If you're doing straightforward sessions all the time, 
with salespeople, they like to say, don't ask. They know who they're talking to. And then if you host a one-off webinar later down in the month, you can go ahead and change the settings before you start your session. You may also access the information of those sessions by logging into your account online. And I'm going to go ahead and show you there's two ways that you folks can do that. So again, if you go down to your G icon and go into your settings, you're going to see that there's a link right here called My Account. The other way to log into your account online is clicking on the Account tab and clicking on the My Account link. So it's in those two, two spots. Once you click on the link, you're prompted to go ahead and enter in your password. And once you enter in your password, you're going to see there an activity tab. So what you would do is click on the activity tab, and it automatically gives you the last 30 days of the activity for that one particular address. You're going to see that I have one active session right now. I could click on the details of that, but I don't want to show everyone who's in this particular session. So I'm going to do a custom date range. And I'm going to go ahead and just select a random date. And then select to go. And hopefully something will pop up here. So we have two active sessions within that date. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the number here. Once I click on the number, it opens up the two completed sessions that happened on June 28th. And if you look, I had 32 guests in this one session. If I click on the detail, we didn't require any of the information for all of these guests. All we do is just uh, we take their IP address and pinpoint where we think they were located. But had we required all the details of our customers, this is where we would go ahead and find our name, e email, and phone. We also make it easy for you folks, too. So if you need to download it and send it out to, to your team to let them know who was in the session, you can click on the download link and export it into a spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and just close this and go back to the presentation here. The next section, excuse me, section down is the session key area. And the new option in the session key area is this last one, which is no key. This one is is fantastic when you're trying to make it as painless as possible for your guests to be able to join your, your presentation. So that just means that when they do join, all they need is your glance address, and they will not be prompted to enter in a session key. So today, if we had not required you folks to provide, say, your email address, all you would have needed was the webdemos.glance.net, and you would have instantly been in the session. Okay, A lot of our customers that use this, this option or our salespeople, um, or folks that aren't showing data, personal data that they're not worried about a phantom person joining. I always recommend to everybody that if you're showing private information and you want to make sure that you're, it's even harder for phantom folks to get in to use the random key. But again, a lot of our customers love this no key option, especially for webinars or quick sales presentations. The next option, or section down here, is during my sessions. And you're going to see that there's two options here. What I want to do with you folks is touch, touch upon the encrypt my sessions, because that's new for us, and we're excited about it. And all that means is today that the, the session data between each participant and the Glance service gets sent using the strongest SSL encryption. So that just means your sessions are private. You're not going to notice anything different on your side, nor are your guests going to notice anything. The just big difference is that this, the information being shown is encrypted before we transmit it to your guests. So we're giving you that option to encrypt your sessions or not encrypt your sessions. It's up to you. A lot of financial institutions, hospitals, our educational facilities, even government entities use this option of encrypting your sessions. This first one here, that was new in 2.6, and I do still find that a lot of our customers aren't aware of this, this feature. I find it very cool when I want to use it. Um, say I was working from home, and I had a colleague in the office, and we needed to do a presentation together to a big customer. And my colleague in the office wanted to start it, but during the middle of the presentation, he or she wanted me to take over. And that's simply, as long as I had Glance installed on my machine, machine prior to joining the session, my colleague would just launch it from within the office. He or she would go ahead and go forth with their presentation. When it was time for me to go ahead and take over, all I would do is just click on my G icon in my tray, a menu would pop up, and I would select to show my screen. And then everybody in that particular presentation would see my screen. 
And then if my colleague wanted to take it back and end the presentation with his screen, all he, would, he or she would have to do is, again, click on his G icon and select Show My Screen, and then everybody would be looking at that presentation. A lot of our customers do like it for the co-presenting aspect of it. Sometimes they do use it for, for training. Um, so they might start a session with one of their customers, show their screen, and if their customer, again, already had Glance installed on their computer, they could just click on their G and say, show my screen. So it works out great for training that particular customer or even supporting them. But the trick is they have to have Glance installed prior to, to joining the presentation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I wanted to quickly touch upon with you folks uh, two of the, the new solutions that we have or future offerings that I mentioned was Glance for Salesforce and Glance for Live Person. We surveyed our existing clients and learned the majority of our customers are using the Salesforce CRM for their sales, support, and marketing. So we decided why not provide our customers the ability to use Glance without leaving their system of record. You may host a session from any lead, contact, opportunity, case, and campaign object. And the session details are logged as a completed event, which provides the ability for your team to run activity reports. As you can see here, it's just some examples. So again, it helps you improve your process. It helps keep everything in check to find out where your team is, how many sessions they host. Um, you can even run it against dollar values. So it's a great place for measuring your team's success. The other service offering is Glance for Live Person. Live Person is a dominant leader in the online chat space. And we polled our enterprise clients, and the results show that they use Live Person as our live chat feature. So we have an API which enables the live chat agent to launch a Glance session from within the console. And what we're finding today is by having this is that the agents are able to add that visual punch to the chat and reducing the time and making the results more proficient with their, their clients. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can open it and field any questions you folks have out there today. That sounds good. Thanks, Joe. We had, uh, I've got a couple in the queue here, and uh, Sylvia will be monitoring the phone line, too. If you would like to ask a question via the phone, you can use star 1, and she'll uh, field those as they come in. Uh, Joe, we had one question asking about performance. Um, for example, their company is in India. They have customers in the United States. Um, mm -hmm. How is performance there? In India? Yeah, as far as we know, we have um, a lot of our customers say hosting sessions from India, and so we haven't had too many problems with that. We do find that some areas of Indi India can be spotty. It just depends upon the Internet connection that that person has in that area. So Glance can only be as, as reliable as the Internet connection on both the host and the guest side. Okay, that sounds good. Um, another question asking, uh, when you were showing the screen sharing, there was, um, you'd mentioned a download. Is there a download for the instant join? The instant join. There is no download for the instant join because, again, when your customers or guests are joining your session, there is no download. They instantly just, all they do is type in your glance address in the web address field, and they instantly join. No running anything, no download anything, no making sure anything is enabled. Okay, that sounds great. How about, um, I guess I'll throw it over to Sylvia if there's anyone on the phone that uh, has any questions. Yes, sir, we have a question from the line of Elliot Blister. Please go ahead. Oh, hey, Joe, it's Elliot in Vancouver. Hey. How are you? I'm well, how are you, Elliot? You're doing great. i got a question for you, um, and thanks for doing this presentation, by the way, for us. Uh, is there anything new for Macintosh, for the Apple uh, computer, those of us that are Apple computer people, uh, is there anything you showed us that's not applicable to Apple? And it, is there something new for the Apple users out here? So an excellent question, as I preface it. The 2.7 that we were going over is for Windows. We are a, a Mac office here, so we try to pride ourselves on obviously offering the same stuff. The instant join for guests on an Apple will be applicable. We automatically point them in the right direction so that you're not going to have to worry about that. Um, as far as the other features, 
collecting the session guest data is available, but you have to contact me directly and I will customize the login. All this other stuff will be coming in the Mac. It's just um, we always do the PC side first and then we add those Mac um, or add those features to the Mac secondary. Okay, so, so instant access instant access is available to us yep. as a Mac mm -hmm. user. And mm -hmm. uh, just a, a quick follow up on that. If I'm doing a presentation with you and you're using instant access, can I um, give the screen to you uh, or do you have to have the glance download into your computer? Do you want the person to be able to show their screen back to you? Yes, so is they can work on what I'm showing them. Right, so that is not available today within the Mac. Okay, any, okay. any uh, estimated coming. time on that? I do not, I just know that our element team is currently working on it and as soon as I have something, I know you're, you're a heavy Mac user, we talk, I will definitely keep you updated. That would be great, thanks so much. Okay, you're welcome Elliot. All right, sounds good. Um, Actually, Joe, I had another question asking about reverse sessions. I think because you, you talked about the customer sharing their screen back, mm -hmm. but how about for driving, um, you know, someone else's screen? Can you talk about how that works? Yes. Yeah, so I'm guessing that um, you folks are whoever asked the questions. They want to know, can you start a session to view somebody else's screen? Is what I think that you're. The question is asking, and the answer is yes, you can start a session to view somebody else's screen. When you do that, um, unfortunately, it's not going to be that instant join. They are going to be pushed a, a small guest client so that you can go ahead and view their presentation. So basically, when you click on your G icon, let's see if I can go ahead and um, quickly get an image up for you guys here. When you click on your G icon, again, this is for Windows, not for uh, Mac. But when you click on the G icon to start your session, there's this second option, which is Start Session View Guest Screen. They're still going to join the same way by opening up a web browser and typing in your glance address. The only difference is they will be pushed to small guest downloads. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, I had a question about the Salesforce integration. That's a little bit beyond um, kind of where we were going to go today. If you do have questions on that, we do have a demo up on YouTube. You can just, you know, search on YouTube for Glance and Salesforce or, um, again, re reply to the reminder, and I can get you more information on that. But besides um, a recorded webinar that we've done on that, we have some other materials. And, uh, and of course, if you're on Salesforce, it's available in the App Exchange too. You can go uh, actually take it for a trial run if you're already a Glance user. It's pretty straightforward um, if you're familiar with installing packages over on the Salesforce side. Um, uh, Sylvia, do we have anything else on the line? Yes, sir. We have a question from the line of Jason Bean. Please go ahead. Hi. I had a question. Uh, if I'm doing a glance session for uh, folks in different offices around the country or around the globe, um, mm -hmm. they can all log in to see my screen using the same um, session key. But then I believe, isn't there also a uniform phone number that each of them can call in on because obviously so I can be talking to one through one phone line without having to conference call everybody in? That's right. So um, there is an audio dial-in number that we provision each one of our customers with. And if you do not know your audio number, you can contact me direct. You can also find out what it is by simply going uh, into your account online. So I showed you folks how to log into your account. If you go to, there's an audio tab and your audio tab will provision you or show you what your dial-in phone number is as well as the host code and guest code. They're always going to be the same so you don't have to worry about it changing. Did that yes. answer your question, Jason? Yes, it does. Uh, and I okay. guess uh, it's not toll-free, so if it is, uh, you know, if I'm talking to somebody in California or in London, right. they, they will incur uh, long-distance fees. They will incur long-distance charges. We do find that most people use their cell to dial into or they have long-distance packages, so they're not worried about it. But if okay. you are looking for a toll-free option uh, for a provider, Meeting Zone, who's, doing our, who's hosting our call today, I always recommend our customers to look at them. They're great. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, that sounds good. Let me just time check here. Yeah, we've got a couple more minutes if there are any other questions coming in. Um, I did have a question asking about Glance working with other chat systems. Um, as Joe had mentioned, Live Person is kind of our, our Cadillac. We already have a number of customers up and running with that, um, and we can tell you more about that. But we have designed the API so that if you are on some other form of chat system, 
Uh, we do have another one that we um, have done some work with, but are not uh, the product's not actually uh, generally available. But if you do have questions about that, do contact us because we, uh, uh, again, we've got the API available for pretty much anything that's out there. So um, we okay. would, uh, if you have integration needs, we're more than happy to talk to you about that. Um, uh, Sylvia, anything else? Our next question will be from the line of Chad Rowe. Please go ahead. Oh, okay, great. Uh, yeah, uh, I was wondering um, what kind of features would be beneficial for webinar use, and then uh, also on top of that would be how many people uh, can be connected at one time for your sessions? Okay. All right, great question. So when you're hosting a session with GLANCE, the limitation of the number of guests is 100. Okay, and then as far as what settings that you should have if you're hosting a webinar. I always say it's, I'm just going to go back to the screenshot that we have here. It's really up to your preference. Obviously, I always say the instant you definitely want to have checked within your settings. It depends upon your webinar. If you want their contact details or don't, so I'm going to leave this up to you. Um, I always say less is, is more, so pick and choose which ones you want because you don't want to make people enter in a whole bunch of information. And then when you're doing a webinar, if you don't typically do a lot of them, make it painless again and try and use the no key option for that. Cool. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Okay, that sounds good. I think we're just at about 30 minutes there, so this will be a good point for us to uh, uh, to cut the session. As I had mentioned, the recording will be available. We'll send out a link for that. Um, it'll probably take about a week to get that loaded and edited and taken care of, so expect to see that maybe Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Um, and Joe, thanks for taking time to present today. Well, thank you, and thank you all for attending today. I appreciate it.